In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the following problem. The area of the region where the two quarter circles overlap is 16. What is the area of the shaded region? I'll have the link to where I found this problem in the description below. And with that being said, let's jump right into the solution. To begin, let's assign a variable to the radius of these quarter circles. And for convenience later on, let's say the radius is 2x. And now let's draw a diagonal line that divides the region where the two quarter circles overlap into two. Now the problem tells us that the area of this overlapping region is 16, and that means each of the halves must have an area of eight. Now let's go ahead and write an expression for the area of one of the halves of this overlapping region. Let's say we consider this top half right here that's bounded by this green curve. Its area would be the area of the green quarter circle, which remember has a radius of two x, minus the area of this right triangle, which has the white dashed line as its hypotenuse. All right, so let's start off with the area of the green quarter circle. That's gonna be pi times the radius squared. The radius is two x in this case, so pi times two x squared, divided by four, since it's a quarter circle, minus the area of this right triangle, which is gonna be base times height over two. The base is two x and the height is two x, so we have two x times two x, divided by two. And we know that this expression, which gives us the area of one of the halves of this overlapping region, is equal to eight. Now let's start simplifying the left-hand side. We have pi times two x whole squared, which is four x squared, over four minus, and then if we cancel out a two from the numerator and denominator of this second term, we have x times two x, so two x squared. And once again, that expression is equal to eight, now let's cancel out a factor of four from the numerator and denominator of this first term. And we're left with pi x squared minus two x squared equals eight. And finally, let's factor out an x squared from both terms on the left-hand side. And we get x squared times pi minus two equals eight. Now let's set this equation aside for the moment and we'll come back to it later. Now let's consider the area we're interested in. We're looking for the area of the blue shaded region which I'll abbreviate as a sub br. The area of the blue shaded region is gonna be the area of the outer circle minus the area of the square formed when the two quarter circles are arranged in this manner. But to know the area of the outer circle, we're gonna to need to know its radius. And for that, let's drop a line down from the center of the circle to the base of the square. Now let's say the cyan point is the center of the circle. If we drop a line down from it to the base of the square, Notice that we form this right triangle where each of the legs is half as long as the side of the square. The side of the square is of length 2x, so the legs of this triangle are going to be of length x. Notice that the hypotenuse of this right triangle is also the radius of the outer circle, which is what we were looking for. Now if we apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle just in our heads, we get x squared plus x squared equals the hypotenuse squared, so 2x squared equals the hypotenuse squared, so the hypotenuse is root 2x. Now that we have the radius for the outer circle, we can write an expression for the area of the blue shaded region. If we start with the area of the circle, that's gonna be pi r squared. So in this case, that'll be pi times root 2x whole squared. And from that we subtract the area of the pink and green square, which has a side length of 2x. So its area will be 2x whole squared. Now if we simplify this expression a little bit, we get pi times root 2x whole squared, which is 2x squared, minus 2x whole squared, which is 4x squared. And this time, we can factor out a 2x squared from both terms. So if we do that, we get 2x squared times pi minus 2. Recall that we figured out that x squared times pi minus 2 is equal to 8. So if we substitute 8 in for the underlined expression, we get that the area of the blue shaded region is 2 times 8, which is 16. And that's all there is to this problem. All right, so that about wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed, leave it a like, and if you want to be notified when I post more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.